Hi, I'm Laurie Dew and I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic. If my face looks familiar, that's because for about 15 years I was an anchor on CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News Channel. And for the last several years, as my recovery has continued, so has my role in the recovery community. Now I'm really proud to say that the focus of my life is recovery. I was a pretty good girl in high school. I wasn't one of those girls who partied every weekend, and that's because I had very strict parents who kept a very close eye on me, and so I didn't have a lot of opportunities to go out and get wasted on Friday and Saturday nights. My drinking really took off when I got to college. I had a lot of the typical fun that, that college freshmen have when they get there, only my fun lasted throughout college, into my 20s, and until I was 38 years old. So it was like I was a freshman in college until I was 38. But I would say that the seriousness of my drinking problem, which was acute alcoholism, which I just didn't admit for many more years, I think it really came to a head when I moved to New York City at age 30. New York is the greatest city in the world for a lot of things. It's also the greatest city in the world to get in trouble in. And I was making a lot of money. I had my own TV show on MSNBC and then later Fox News. No one was telling me no. It's whatever you want, whenever you want in New York City. And so I did whatever I wanted. Somewhere along the way, after I'd been in New York for two, three, four years, I realized that alcohol had gone from something that was fun for me and something that I enjoyed to something that I needed and something that I became addicted to. And I saw alcohol as the solution to my problems. I saw it as the greatest gift I could give myself. And then, of course, the solution to my problems became the problem. And by then, for me, it was too late. I was already in this thing very heavily. Believe me, there were a lot of days where I did sleep on the floor of my office, curled in the fetal position, unable to lift my head up. When, when people saw me on CNN or Fox News Channel, they had no idea that I was living this secret life and this double life. But I was, and so many people are who have this disease. The disease of alcoholism can be the thing that ultimately turns your life around. March 14th, 2007 is the day I saved my own life. It's the day that my second life began. It's the day that things started getting better. I have hope now. I have dreams now. I have dreams that I am actually accomplishing because I'm sober. And when I look in the mirror now, I really like who I see. I've never been happier in my life, and that is the God's honest truth. I am 43 years old, and I've never been this happy. And it has taken me a really long time to get to this place, but I have an incredible amount of joy, and it is primarily because I don't drink. I believe that every time a person in recovery shares his or her story, they're creating an environment that is free from shame or embarrassment or guilt. I know that by telling my story, I'm helping you. I know that by telling my story, I am chipping away just a little bit at the stigma. I know that by telling my story, I am climbing a very high wall. And when I get to the top of the wall, I want to let everybody know that help is out there. And you don't have to suffer alone and you don't have to suffer in silence. Help is out there. Getting sober is the greatest gift you can give yourself. To quote Carl Jung, I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. And I have chosen to become a sober woman, a healthy woman, a happy woman, a woman who is really happy with her place in the world, a woman who wants to help other people like you.